million dollar movie. Every day, an outstanding motion picture selected from the WHPQ television library of over 1,200 titles. A noontime must in Memphis TV viewing, Channel 13's Million Dollar Movie. Of course, one of the most monstrous projects attempted here on Channel 13 or anywhere from ghost to ghost is fantastic features. Survive. Seen every Saturday at 6 o'clock. You will see such delightful romances as Gargo, The Thing, The Manster. Savad, we're trying to tell a very important story to a group of very important people who are very interested in buying on our station. Ah, yes. I went into a store to buy something the other day. I said, I want to try on that suit in the window. And the clerk said, I'm sorry, sir, but you will have to use the dressing room. <laughs> Savad, please. Actually, I went in to get something for my wife. And the manager says, what are you asking for her? Savad. <laughs> well, you may continue. Afternoons in Memphis make way for the Fun House. <laughs> WHBQ Television has the only cartoon show beginning at 4 o'clock in the Memphis market. In fact, this fall, the Fun House is beginning its third successful year at 4. An instant success being a continuous rating winner from the first coincidental. 1963-64 average share, 40%. The various funhouse activities and the variety of giveaways help maintain a year-round interest. Cartoons, funhouse has them. A few of them are Popeye, the Three Stooges, Casper the Friendly Ghost, and the big one taking Memphis and the Mid-South with a storm of popularity, the mighty Hercules. The master host of the Fun House is Hal Miller, Happy Hal, as he is known as the Pied Piper of the Mid-South. And to further enhance the complete domination of the kids' audience, Channel 13 schedules Hal as host on Cartoon Time, Monday through Friday at 7 a.m., catching the school-age kids before they leave home. On Saturday morning, a schedule of satisfying cartoons, rounding out the week, capturing kids, ratings and sales for sponsors who take advantage of these popular programs. Weekdays, following our fun house at 5.30, The Rifleman, beginning the transition from children's programming into complete family viewing. The Rifleman, bad news for bad men. Watch for The Rifleman on this station. The Rifleman, one of the country's most successful transitional strip shows, is assured of immediate success with the large lead-in provided by the fun house, to be followed by a new concept in Memphis. <laughs> Channel 13 will run a different program nightly at 6 p.m. This, in effect, extends prime time to one half hour earlier, taking advantage of the more than 50% sets in use with more than 210,000 homes at 6 p.m. This decision makes available a highly promotional concept that will completely change the viewing habits in the Memphis market. Every night, a different show. On Monday... The Littlest Hobo, first run of the Memphis market, starting the week with this proven winner, will assure immediate audience conversion to Channel 13's new 6 o'clock concept. Then on Tuesday, also first run in the Memphis market, the unusual, action-filled, always entertaining Riders of the Highway on Cannonball. Wednesday, there's Bill Silvers as zany Sergeant Bilko, the most hilarious thing that ever happened to any man's army. Thursday, to arrest their attentions, on the docket we find those funny men who ride in car 54. And on Friday, to round out the week with another first-run series, The Wonderful Adventures of Colorful Tugboat Annie. Monday through Friday, a different show each night. Something for everyone. Then, continuing the evening prime time, a new and improved ABC lineup. Remember the November ARB? WHBQ-TV took a 34 share, became nationwide the number three ABC station in prime time. Then, doing the impossible, moved up to a 36 share in the March ARB. The CBS station had a 34, 
NBC, a 30 share. And remember, another important program with a famous star is on channel 13. It is I, Savard, your monster of ceremony. Savard. From the very first, our program has been a winner. Advertisers are standing in line to buy time on fantastic features. Of the once-a-week attraction, another Mid-South sure-to-be-seen favorite is Channel 13 Wrestling. Constant and durable through six years of popularity, eager, loyal fans tune in week after week for live wrestling on Saturday afternoon. And still another Saturday favorite is our talent party with genial host George Klein. An hour of entertainment, special guests, and always a year-in, year-out must for the music-minded viewers. For example... Singers like Bobby Vetton to instrumentalists like Pete Bowton. <laughs> I'm sure Pete is kidding there, but it is a beautiful album in signed sale at all of your record shops, and I know Pete would like for you to go out and buy it because it is available. Pete, but really, I would rather play on TV all the time. You really had. All right. <laughs> Pete has a brand new single out on the car label, which is also available, and it's called Birth of the Blues. Pete, would you mind blowing that for us? I'll try. Okay, <laughs> thanks a lot. Pete, bye. Thank you, Jeff. finger on the pulse of what the Mid-South likes, knows that one item is Elvis Presley. Native of the Mid-South, a resident of Memphis, Elvis has appeared on Channel 13 and is tremendously popular. And so, the Elvis Presley Special. It ran on a Sunday night, May 31st, 7.30 to 9.30 p.m., against TV's toughest, Ed Sullivan and Bonanza. The results of the ARB coincidental showed the special with a 45 rating representing a 76 share of the available audience. The Elvis Presley Special. Another point to prove WHBQ-TV is the big one. WHBQ-TV, Channel 13, your RKO General Station in Memphis. Tele telephone. <laughs> Telegraph. <laughs> Try a Twix. Take a tip and take your television dollars where most folks set their dial and leave it. Channel 13, in the billion-dollar market, down in Memphis, Tennessee. 